welcome back to the second tutorial here we start go Microsoft Visual Studio so here we started the, pro the Microsoft Visual Studio here we need to go to file project and we gotta go to C sharp uh, windows and we're gonna create Windows Forms application and let's name our project as uh, uh, for example we have a company project let me say uh, okay we create the project name it Ahmed company and after that we're gonna create a project just click OK and here we gotta start the project okay loading so here we start we got this workplace uh, we have an empty form we have all this stuff so let's begin uh, adding the classes the first thing I need to do to you to do is just create uh, the classes for our system here so just go to solution and add new uh, project you can see the first one uh, let me just add that again add a new project here we got this and here we need to uh, choose a class library okay and let me name this uh, class library as entities so we want to put all the entities the classes here okay click enter we have this empty uh, class library so go here and just delete this default uh, class and we need to start a new one just go here and add uh, I have a small screen because I wanna okay anyway so here we got classes and just select class and we need to add a class here and let me name this as an employee so this is employee and just click add so we have an employee class here and just add other class for the department so new item go here choose a class and the same process uh, gonna add the department okay and just click uh, add button so here we done okay we got a uh, department we got an employee nice uh, you can see uh, those two here so just click make this uh, class as public uh, public and save this and also employee as public class so save this and let me back to the diagram that we have before uh, notice that we have let me just okay here we have a department department has a number has a, a name so let's go to the to the department here in the department and just give a name for the department so gonna use define a property for the department which is the number and the name so pub public uh, integer name and we just wanna put uh, I'm sorry let's say uh, number first and it has a name set and get method so just put set and get and the same process for the name of the department so here we got string for the name okay so here we just renamed okay here we done just save this is the class for the department and move to the next step we have uh, an employee and employee has a lot of stuff employee as we can see here has an uh, has an ID and has a birth date and has a first name last name and has a gender and has a higher date so just basically we go here we define all these properties uh, public integer ID and we just give the set 
and git for this and after that we define the other uh, properties that we have we have a first name so first uh, name okay this is should be string first name and we also have last name okay last name and we have a birth date and we have a higher date so this well higher date here and also we have uh, let me just make this as okay and we have a gender and gender is enumeration type so basically uh, we need to define an enumeration type so public enum uh, let's say enum gender and here we just define so we just define a male female and this will be the value of 0 this will be the value of 1 and we need to define a property for this so just make public uh, let's say integer or let me say so we just define enumeration for according to this enumeration type we just define gender and we make the set just define the set and get method for this value gender so in this way uh, we just uh, complete the building of the classes and okay so we have department now we have department we have an employee in our uh, in our class library entities in the next video we're gonna make the the DAO which is the data access layer for those two okay so see you there